Hello once again and welcome to Knox Asian Recipes. Today she's making deep fried tofu with a sweet potato vegetable gravy sauce. And here are the ingredients that Knox will be using today. To make the sauce, sweet potato, garlic, onion, salt, carrot, potatoes. And she's also going to be using some chili paste today, a little bit of brown sugar, black pepper, a dark soy sauce. She's going to use a little bit of cornstarch also to coat the tofu and her homemade tofu pieces, of course, and potatoes for mashed potatoes. And so let's get started. The first thing she's going to boil a little bit in a frying pan with a small amount of water, her ingredients for the sauce. And while that one is cooking, then she's going to pre-boil her tofu pieces. This is our homemade tofu, very firm. But when you boil it for a recipe like this, if you're going to coat it with anything and deep fry it, it makes it a meatier texture and actually more delicious. So she's boiled it, she's going to drain it, set it aside. And while she's doing that, then she's going to start to boil her potatoes for mashed potatoes. Okay, so get those potatoes on the fire and then it's gonna be time now to go ahead and coat the tofu pieces. She's going to use her cornstarch. You could use a little wheat flour if you wanted to but a few heaping spoonfuls of cornstarch for this amount of tofu that you can see. She's going to salt it and dissolve that in a little bit of water. Then she's simply going to coat her tofu pieces in the cornstarch mix. So once the tofu pieces are all coated, then to the frying pan with some vegetable oil, which has been heating up, and Nock is going to deep fry these tofu pieces in there. Then once they've been browned up nicely, Nock is ready now to take them out. She puts them in a strainer with a paper towel to take off the excess oil. And then in the meantime, the potatoes have softened up nicely, so she's going to mash them. Of course, some of you might want to use milk and butter, but this is a vegan recipe, so just water and mash up the potatoes. And now Nock is going to make the sauce or the vegetable gravy for today's dish. So she's got all her ingredients that she has softened up by boiling them a little bit. The onion, garlic, sweet potato, carrot, and potato. And this is going to go into the blender. Then she's going to add a little bit of water and blender it up. And that's ready. And to get a smoother texture, she's going to pass it through a kitchen strainer. So now Nock is ready to cook this sauce and into it she's going to add, of course, her dark soy sauce. You can be creative with what you like to add to this vegetable gravy with sweet potato flavoring. A little bit of salt, of course. And then she's going to add uh, quite a bit of black pepper and also a little bit of brown sugar. She's going to stir this one frequently as she heats it up and let it thicken up. Get a nice gravy texture to it. So she's removing most of the sauce, but she's purposely leaving some of the sauce in the pan, which she's going to cook her tofu so it will get coated with the same sauce. And to this also, she's going to add a little bit of chili paste. This is an optional step for you, but of course, we like our food quite spicy. So this is the same chili paste that Nock would typically use for a pad thai. And she's going to get a spoonful or so into, the, into there with the tofu and mix it all together.
Then once the tofu pieces have absorbed the flavor from the sauce and the chili paste, she's going to add some sesame seed to it. And when the tofu is ready, she's just about ready to serve it to her sauce, which will be used as gravy for the mashed potatoes. A little bit of sesame seed dressing as well. And she's making a salad for today's meal. Just simple lettuce tomato salad with some olive oil and some lime juice and salt. And this one looks great. I can't wait to dig in because the texture of the mashed potatoes together with the crunchy tofu, incredible. So we hope you enjoy this video and enjoy making this delicious and nutritious, satisfying food at home as well. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And we'll see you again next time. Bon appétit and buen provecho.